Okay, we're going to return to the top story now. Of course, I was telling you the US trade deficit, which widened in May. President Trump ain't going to be happy. Ed Stringham is president of the American Institute for Economic Research Hello, and Aaron. joins us live from New York. Ed, good to see you. I can't see you, but I can hear you. Thanks for having me, Aaron. <laughs> um, so, Ed, listen, before we get into the numbers, um, let me ask you this. This deficit that the president is really focused on, um, I'm just wondering, is there anything wrong with a deficit? Because some people say he should actually be focusing on debt, not the deficit. Sure. Right. So I think there's certain deficits, such as the budget deficit, which totally matter, government spending, government taxes. But I think the trade deficit is one of the most misleading and unimportant figures Ever. So when we produce an iPhone, it's buying goods from all around the globe, goes to China, it's assembled there, comes to the United States. Now, all of a sudden, they do the last bit of manufacturing there. And now we've got this huge trade deficit. And that's entirely misleading. I wouldn't say the iPhone is from China. It's an international product. The Chinese manufacturers at the very end are helping out and an American corporation. But the people who are concerned with trade deficits would say, oh, this is terrible. We just lost all of this money from this iPhone. And I think it's totally wrong. OK. Um, and so we know well, if we look at these numbers, just like the last set of numbers we had um, in, in trade numbers from the US. So we know we know the US is buying less from China, but the problem is it's buying more from all these other countries. Yeah, we've got a uh, five month high trade deficit and a record high trade deficit with Mexico. And again, people are uh, portraying that as bad. Well, American manufacturers have to buy their goods from somewhere, inputs from somewhere. And, and if it's going to be more difficult to buy from China, then people are going to switch to uh, Mexico. Hmm. I would like to rephrase this whole terminology and instead of calling it a trade deficit, call it a goods surplus. The fact that we're getting so many goods from Mexico, so many goods from China is just great. We shouldn't be bemoaning this. OK. And um, uh, I'm just wondering, is it too early to sort of ask or say um, are we, are the tariffs, the trade war with China, is it actually damaging the U.S. economy? Are we starting to see any patterns? Oh, sure. Yeah, it's disrupting supply chains for American manufacturers. People buy inputs from China, things like aluminum, steel, uh, electronics. And these are American companies that can't afford to produce things here. So they have mm. to uh, have some of it produced in China. And that's totally disruptive towards American corporations. Why are they going to be able to compete in globally when other company, countries don't have to do that. It's just terrible for the American economy. Indeed it is. Ed Stringham, short and sweet, but we always appreciate your time. And you can take that, Thanks, plastic, you can take that plastic thing out of your ear now. <laughs> okay, Ed's joining us there from New York, but we're going to stay in New York.